every Thursday on this channel, I go over the Saints Wednesday practice injury report. And I also give you guys my personal take on whatever situation is at hand. Right now, that situation is at quarterback. But before I give you that personal take, we're going to go over the 14 players that managed to make it to the Saints Wednesday injury report. Now, look, if you believe in getting loud and also you got to fight, that means we have something in common, the Pelicans and the Saints. So why don't you hit that subscribe button? Make sure you hit that notification bell. And as always, make sure you hit that like button. Tell me how with that algorithm, baby. Now, the Saints will have 14 players added to the injury list from Wednesday practice. Seven of those players did not participate. The other seven was limited in practice. Let me give you guys the name and also the injuries. Wide receiver Dante Hardy, foot. Jarvis Landry, wide receiver, ankle. Wide receiver Michael Thomas, foot. Wide receiver Chris Olave, concussion. Cornerback Marshall, Marshall Latimo, he got an injury to his abs. Defensive end Peyton Turner, he has a chest injury. And guard Trock Martin, hip. Now, if you didn't know, those who did not participate is our whole wide receiver core, right? That is quite concerning right now going against the Bengals, who you know has some studs on their defense. Now, those who was limited was tackle Ryan Ramchak. He was in rest. Nothing really wrong with him. Cornerback Abido, he's got a knee injury. Safety JT Gray, he's got a foot injury. Safety Marcus May, got a rib injury. Defensive tackle, Malcolm Roach, ankle. That's very important because Malcolm Roach is crucial to your run defense. And the man who can do it all, Taysom Hill, God damn it, rib. Quarterback Jameis Winston, back and ankle. Now look, we already got four wide receivers on this injury report who did not participate. And you can also add Taysom Hill to this injury, injury to our wide receiver core because he's also a target, right? This is quite concerning going into this Sunday's game against the Cincinnati Bengals. I think right now the Saints have some key injuries and it's going to be a struggle in this game with these injuries, especially with your wide receiver core not participating in practice at all. I mean, at least you can have Chris Olave, possibly, or Michael Thomas, possibly. You really don't know. Hopefully from Friday practice, things look a little better on this list, right? Now, I got to give you guys my personal take of the situation at hand at quarterback. With the injury list looking as it is, with all your offensive weapons on the wide receiver side on it, I think the best thing that you could possibly do is go with Andy Dalton. And the reason for that is, I think Jameis Winston would definitely struggle, right? That's what he's been doing all year, kind of. He's been struggling. He was missing, he's been missing the check down. And, and, and a key point I want to make about that is when you go back to the game against the Seattle Seahawks, Andy Dalton really gave you the biggest play of the game. Don't get me wrong. Taysom Hill did a lot in that game for us to win. But the biggest play of the game was when Andy Dalton saw Trey Con Smith coming across the film field and we needed that first down. And instead of trying to force something down the field, or, or catching the running back coming out of the backfield. Andy Dalton made the smart play, and he hit Trey Quan Smith in order for us to get that first down, which in return extended our drive. I don't believe that Jameis Winston would have hit Trey Quan Smith coming across the field because Jameis Winston most likely would have went with his first read. Jameis, I'm sorry, Andy Dalton made that play with pressure in his face. That is a play that Jameis Winston would not make. This is why I feel as if the Saints really and truly needs to go with Andy Dalton for the rest of the season. Because under pressure, Jameis Winston does not see those plays, right? Sometimes it's not the play that you make down the field. It's the play that you make on the field that makes a difference, right? <laughs> so you guys. Let me know what you think about my personal take on the quarterback situation. And also, tell me what you think about 14 players being on the Saints injury list. That's like 30% like of your 52-man roster, man. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully, you guys watch this video all the way to the end and help me out with that algorithm. And make sure you hit that subscribe button to help your boy get to his first 100 subs, subs on this channel. Thank you for tuning in.